Okay, here we go. Time for some more uh, torture in Arch Linux. And hello, everyone. Uh, this one's going to be on fonts, basically on your system. And I've had a few people ask what I use for font. Uh, it's basically the Arch Linux one, the TTF, Deja Vu, that's it, Sans. You go to Appearance, in XFCE. That's all I have. Sans, 10, anti-aliasing, slight, RGB. And that's it. What I have uh, discovered, though, is it depends on, I think it depends on your graphics card. Um, I recently purchased a GTX 970. Yes, 970. <laughs> which is a beast. And it, uh, I donated uh, a few uh, limbs and stuff to get it. <laughs> And uh, I noticed when, when I installed it and then uh, reconfigured uh, Arch Linux for the new video driver, right away I noticed the brightness and the colors were uh, much more apparent. And the sharpness of the fonts as well. So I think it has something at least to do with the video card. Um, however, there are still issues with just the basic font. Um, so I'm going to talk about installing the Infinality font bundle, and the Arch Wiki uh, explains it, but it, it can be a little confusing. Uh, so I'm going to call up some notes as usual, um, so you can look over them, I'll upload them, and uh, basically how I go about installing them. And uh, there isn't, actually, if, you, if you're careful... Um, there isn't much you have to do after they're installed other than restarting your system. Okay, so from what I've gathered from the Arch Linux uh, documentation is you have to edit your Pac-Man configuration file to include at least the in Infinality Bundle uh, repository. If you're using 64-bit, you also want to include that. I know the, know the address is slightly different with Multilib here. And I should make a, a note here, um, when you have to synchronize the keys, because it's a, a, a custom repository, uh, make sure your root directory, um, not the slash, but the actual root folder, has a uh, folder in there called uh, GNUPG. So let me just uh, go to the root user account. And we'll just ls dash la slash root. And this is the directory I'm talking about. Dot gnupg. If it's not there, uh, just mk in your super user. mkdir slash root. And then what's there? gnupg. I don't have to create that, but if it's not there, Make sure that's created because the key rings will fail for some reason. Okay, so just make sure you have that set before moving on. All right, so here's our Pac-Man configuration file in Etsy, pacman.config, C-O-N-F, in Etsy, sorry. And general option is scroll down to where you have repositories. And right here, uh, you can uh, add it pretty much at the top. Okay, make sure if you're using multi-lib, of course, you have that uncommented. So anyway, um, just I'll zoom in here and just uh, press enter a couple of times and arrow key up one. And I'll just uh, tab to the notes I have. And we'll just copy this first part and paste it into here. Press enter a couple of times, twice is usually good. And then... The uh, multi-lib, the same deal. When you're done with that, just uh, file save and file quit. Okay, so let's go back into the super user. It's easier just to su again and your uh, root account password. And you can just uh, copy and paste or just you can type this in. And that's the key on the Arch Linux uh, uh, custom repo is the key that you're going to need, so pacman dash key dash r and then the number. So I'll paste that in, and this will t 
probably take a while to respond. Okay, after a brief period, it could be a minute, could be 30 seconds or whatever. We'll just uh, arrow key up one and just replace the R, the dash R, with the small letter F. So delete that and press F. And those will come back much quicker. And the last one I'll just copy and paste in. Okay. And just do a sudo pacman-syy to sync your mirror list. Uh, I'm going to actually get out of your root and then uh, sync your mirror list. And it should be finding the infinality bundle and the multilib and the signature, which you can see here it just did. So we'll just take the uh, uh, pacman dash capital S small s. It doesn't have to be sudo in this case. And the free type 2 dash infinality dash ultimate. So again, just copy and go to the terminal. And I'll paste that in. And some results should return. And what I usually get, I have it listed here, is the, uh, the ultimate infinality ultimate and the lib32 ultimate, and then the uh, font config itself, okay? What I suggest do is doing is uh, installing both of these, the, the first packages, the free type ultimate and the lib32, reboot your system and then come back and install the font configuration, okay? And just a quick, I don't know, before and after, uh, I made a screenshot a few days ago so here's a before screenshot. You can see that the uh, the way the letters are kind of bundled up, jumbled up a bit. And here's the after. And you see that they're spaced out better. So before and after. How much cleaner it looks. So having said that, um, just do these one line at a time. So pseudo pacman dash capital S, uh, the first uh, one, the, not the multi-lib, so I'll paste that in, and it's going to ask you if you want to replace free type 2 with the new one, yes, and it's not very big, it'll download and install for you, and now for the multi-lib, I'll just paste that in, and it might be a little larger, 32-bit, yeah, and so you let that download and install, then after that, I'd well, it does tell you to reboot or restart X. Either way, I'd like to reboot, make sure everything's cleared up. Okay, so once that's installed, restart your system. So that's what I'm going to do. On, so I'll be back when uh, I've restarted the system. Okay, so after restarting, um, everything obviously went well. <laughs> uh, so last step is to grab the, from Pac-Man anyway, to grab the font configuration. And I'll use this one. And again, we'll paste that in. It's going to ask you again to replace the font config. So, yes. And let that download and install. Now this will update the font cache for you. That's why it's nice to have that. And I just named this section languages. There's more to it than that. But basically, uh, you change directory to the fonts config D. So I'll paste that in. Okay, and then we just take this big command line, and I note that the dot at the end here is included, so paste that in, and you see the dot is at the end, I'll just backspace one, and press enter, and that's it. So let's see uh, more of this in action, um, just to give you some examples. Uh, let's get the liberation font, because that's usually recommended for websites and stuff, so... Uh, I have an alias for pseudo pacman dash s capital s is just pac and then ttf dash liberation and there's no conflict which is good and you notice here it well yeah it usually does that anyway the font config will update the cache so you can run this uh command again and look at that as soon as I changed download the font it's changed to the liberation mono regular so if you're always wondering about the uh, infinality 
font bundle and how to install it. I hope this video helps you out. Um, it is a little daunting to read through at first. Uh, just don't go overboard. Just keep everything very simple at first. And there's more uh, proprietary fonts they suggest from the Arch Linux user repository to get if you wish. Okay, so that should do it for this one. And thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.